Welcome to Volatopia. Daniels is an up and coming New York brand focusing on briefcases, wallets, belts. So they've also moved into wallets. So let's see what we've got here. Now remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets when you purchase all the wallets we review. So let's get into this little wallet. Comes in this lovely little linen type bag. Daniels, New York. Let's open it up. And again, you can always use these bags and things for other purposes. Great secondary purposes after the fact. Nice thank you card. There is the wallet. Open this up. All right. Looks like we have some placer cards in here. Missed opportunity for advertising there. All right. This is the orange color. I wanted to get something a little more vibrant. Looks nice. Great stitching. Double stitching on the top here. Very simple card wallet. Wow. Got finished leather on the interior. That's a great little wallet. Now onto the feature review of the Daniels leather card wallet. This is gonna be quick. It is a simple card wallet. Has one slot in the front right here for cards, cash, whatever. It has a middle slot on the interior right here. Again, purpose for cards, cash, whatever it might be. We flip it over and it has yet another card slot mirroring what we have in the front. And all of them provide the capability for cards, cash, really anything else you can get in there. It's a nice, uh, nice feeling little wallet here. And that's a quick review of the features of Daniel's leather card wallet. Now into the card and cash insertion test. As we showed in the card and cash insertion test, we got three cards in here, two slips of cash. It is a very simple card wallet. Minimalist carry on this would be three cards like we had. I think you can get up to five. The company recommends three to four cards per slot. Yeah, that's per slot. And I think you could probably get there once it stretches out. Business cards fit in here just fine. As well uh, as anything else that can fit in here that you want to put, the typical in a card. And you do find yourself cramming all kinds of things in these uh, once these break in and they begin to stretch properly. It is designed in New York and it's made in Italy. It's a veg tanned Italian leather, comes in eight colors, lots of options there. And when looking at the interior of this, we can see that each slot, we don't see a flesh side of the leather. We see a finished side of this leather. And that is impressive. That means that's a finished detail that you don't quite see uh, very often in card wallets or wallets in general. You can see that we have a finished layer of leather, not just the flesh. On top of that, we can see we have a nice crease feature here on the top of every pocket opening. That isn't uh, something that just happens. It requires some work. And it's got a very nice burnished edge on this. The burnished edge uh, comes all the way around, provides a nice clean finish that makes this just a nice wallet to pull out, look at, and the colors are so vibrant that you can get. Another thing to look at here is the stitching. If we look at the stitching here, we can see that it uh, is mach machine stitched, and that's fine, most wallets are. It has a double stitch here at the top, and that's important in all wallets, but especially high quality wallets, because it prevents this from just ripping open and tearing open over time. Make sure that it, it ensures that this is really secure. It's priced at $95, and it is a three pocket slim wallet, so that's what you get. It measures 3.9 by 2.5 by 0.2, and it weighs 37 grams. Now, Daniel Scott, the owner, is a former management consultant who took a leap into the accessories business as his new profession. I like the quality that Daniels is releasing with their products. It sets the stage for long-term success for them. But their pricing is a little high in balance to what you're, they're selling, especially for how young of a company they are. However, there's no question regarding the quality of what they have. It has a one-year warranty on it, and really, I have high hopes that it'll expand either wallet line. This is currently all they sell. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price a two, features a three, usability a three, and perception a four. That gives us a final score of 36 out of 50. If you want to see the rest of the rankings for all the wallets we've reviewed, click on the link here or go to wallettopia.info slash rankings and you can find them there. Look forward to talking to you again 
Thanks, bye.